Hey, good morning, everybody. It's the 14th of June. It's 2020. My name is John Hiley, and I'm a pastor serving Grace Lutheran Church in Fairmont, Minnesota, which is where I am right now. I'm here with a word of encouragement for anybody and everybody, and it's a word to help us remember who we are as Jesus' people in this world. And the word I want to share today comes from a letter that Paul wrote to a church in Galatia. Um, Galatia was a town in Turkey, and this church in Galatia had some deep, deep divisions and some deep challenges and deep struggles in how they got along. And Paul had a word for this church that I find to be really a good word for me today, and I hope it's a good word for you as well. Paul said, May I never boast of anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Boast. May I never boast. I think Paul was really talking about something huge right here. We, in our culture, we have so many things that we boast about. We boast about power and money. We boast about our possessions. And Paul is saying, hey, could we leave all that aside? He was saying that to the believers 2,000 years ago, and I think he's saying that to us. Can we leave all the things that we take so much pride in and put all those aside? And can we focus instead on one thing, on the cross, on what God has done for us, on this promise of redemption for me, for you, for our whole world? See, I think in this moment, this is exactly the good news that the world needs most of all. We need this promise. We need this hope that God can do something absolutely brand new for me and for you. We need this promise. Right now, the challenges are so real. COVID-19, very real. Very real challenge right now. Challenges within our country of race and dealing with long-standing issues of race and race relations in our country have, have come to the forefront in recent weeks. And so for me, this is the point where the cross of Jesus actually matters, where the cross matters for us, because in the cross, we see God at work to create something brand new, God at work to do something brand new, for each and every one of us. So today, I encourage you, think about all the things that we are tempted to boast about, all the things that we want to be so proud of, and to let Paul's words be a guide for us. Let's focus in instead on what God is up to, on the new things that God is trying to do with us and for us. See, I think this is the news that our world needs most of all right now, right here. God can do brand new things. God can raise Jesus from the dead. God can raise me, you, our whole world to a brand new kind of life. This is exactly the promise we need. This is the reason why we are church. So I encourage you today to keep on praying, keep on believing, and keep on sharing words of encouragement with others. Keep on trusting that God can do something brand new. This God of Easter morning can do something brand new in each of our lives. Well, many blessings, peace. See you soon.